I would have fucked your father if you knew who your dad was, but I, you don't. So I had to go for the next. Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your girl Tosh, aka Coco Bone, coming at you with another reaction video, hunty. Yes, honey. So tonight's reaction is about to be good, okay? Ash finally got a voice again. We about to hear what she got to say, okay? So this one is Ash addressing DDG slash soul entanglement, okay? Honey, this shit, this is like a whole fucking drama series. Like, this shit is mad funny, and I'm curious to see what she got to say. To be quite honest, well, actually, let me get y'all up on game. So just in case, for anyone that doesn't know, DDG made a song called Moonwalking in Calabasas. Somewhere along the song, he says something about Soul Illuminati, like she said your dick gang was so-so, and she said you was broke, and that's tough. You know what I'm saying? He said those bars. So then Soul Illuminati had made a response video to that, talking his shit. Go check that reaction out, because I did that one too. <laughs> he made a video talking his shit, talking about how DDG is spiritually broken and he's a puppet. That's tough. So now Ash is responding to both of these niggas. We just about to see what the hell she got to say because I ain't gonna hold you. I love me some Soul Illuminati slash Spiritual Soul. I love his channel, but you know, he really, he really was playing the shit out of Ashley. He was talking about her reckless. Like he was on some other stuff with Ashley. Like he is pissed. Like of course he was trying to show that he wasn't pissed like most men do. You know, whenever they be hurt, they try to front it off. But behind closed doors, he ain't trying to speak to Ashley ever again because she fucked his enemy. You feel what I'm saying? Or at least that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. And I don't know what she about to say in this video. So without further ado, let me get my screen recorder set up. Why she got that crazy ass picture in the background? Oh my God. And without further ado, let's get into this reaction, shall we? What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another motherfucking video. I know, it's long as shit. It's actually one that you've been wanting to watch for a ex? long time. Because I purposefully avoided the subject of my ex because I just don't like giving him any of my time or energy and I have nothing positive to say about the nigga, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about him in this video today. And DDG. Oh, shit. I hate him so bad. Like, I, <laughs> I hate him so bad. Oh God, I'm about to make a video about, and that's really tough because I'm not a nice person. Like, I'm all cute and little, and I look nice, but I'm not that nice if I hate I'm a Taurus, so... Taurus, hey, Taurus, shout Taurus, out to the Taurus! Rising Sagittarius. Raven's a Sag, that's what he'd be. But anyways... Oh my size, gosh, anyway. shout out so, to the Tauruses. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on though. Wait, wait, wait. You a Taurus though, bitch? Ashley. For you to be a Taurus, you act like you don't have a lot of common sense, honey. Because normally, us Tauruses, we have a sixth sense for bullshit. And you was taking a lot of bullshit. So I'm kind of shocked that you're my sign, honey. I, I'm just I'm just saying, you know, and I'm saying, I digress. But let's go ahead and keep going. <laughs> to drop a song exposing fucking my business and i'm like okay so the thing is i fucking hate my ex anything i can do so i'm just gonna say so i'm not gonna say your stupid handle i would have fucked your father if you knew who your dad was but i you don't so i had to go for the next <laughs> made a lot of dumbass mistakes she was dating an older white man that was old enough to be her grandfather she's taken a lot of flack from dating soul illuminati you know because soul like 
he was always trying to play her in their videos when they were a couple. I remember all that. I, you know, just because I didn't have a reaction channel then didn't mean I ain't seen none of that stuff or kept up with all the drama. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so Illuminati had really, you know, played her. Like, he really, like, played the shit out of her. And, you know, she kind of has a right to be to be this cold. She do. She has a right to show her horns as a tourist and want to stab motherfuckers now because they was dragging her name through the dirt. And I mean, they was... And then DDG on his song, Beef With Me, I Fuck Your Bitch. Like, damn, why she got to be a bitch? I mean, I, th I thought y'all was cool. You know, so now he he's basically admitting that he just used Ashley just to get back at Soul. That's cold. That's fucked up. Oh, man. So, th yo, this is crazy. But let's go ahead and keep going. Best thing. But, I mean, because I'm about action. Like, I don't understand coming on the camera and talking about niggas. Like, I don't. I don't like to do that for what? Like, that hella negative energy. That's some I, real bitch shit. Like, now I'm having to get down to this low frequency, low bitch energy that you guys are just, like, super duper in. Or what the seeds you've planted are in or something. But anyways, like, like, nigga just really try to play me for a weak bitch on everything. And it's like... That is the only way I could, like, live with myself. Because in, in real life, it was, like, good to me. But on the internet, he really fucking wasn't. And it's, like, that counts, too. Hmm. Especially if I'm trying to make a career out of social media. Like, it's because I'm a woman or whatever. That's like, I got Helen Cousins on too. So if you hear the mom, that's because they're on the phone. Wait, wait, wait. So she just said... Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, but when I'm we, trying to make we gonna a rewind this day. career out of social media. know that so i love you honey i really do but if you was treating this girl like gold behind the camera and then you wanted to treat her like trash on camera that's lame that is really fucking lame my guy that's lame as hell just saying i mean I, that's fucked up why would you like that's I, I don't really understand that that mentality. Like, why would you treat her like shit on camera to the whole entire world? But off camera, you treat her like a queen. I don't understand why would you go about it like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's keep on going. Especially if I'm trying to make a career out of social media. Like, it's because I'm a woman or whatever. That's like, I got hella cousins on this too. So if you hear it, the mom that's because they're on the phone. Her nails long as shit, yo. We make our voices heard, not just uh, protesting. Yo, that's crazy how he was treating her like dirt right on camera, but behind camera he was nice to her. I, like, you know, but that's I that's not awesome. right. That's lame. <sighs> That led to this video. DDG saw that I tweeted that I was going to make this video yesterday, and he hit me. And he's like, like, because he's not blocked, even though he should be, because I just, I had to tell him, like, you're the last person I'm going to let stab me in the back. Because I, like, he seemed like a genuine person, but, like, looks or pe how people act towards you just means nothing. Like, how they treat you is nothing. Like, if it's, like, what they put out into the world does the opposite, which is, like, what my ex-boyfriend did hella of, you know what I'm saying? And... <sighs> He just asked me not to hold him on this fucking video. Like, he's just... <laughs> you know, Behind like, closed doors. Hey, yo, I mean, can you please not like, roast me? Whatever you get of this karma is only because of you, because this wouldn't have happened if he didn't have to do that. And it was probably to shit on my ex-boyfriend, but we weren't... We haven't been together for, like, two years, a year and a half. Like, that's so much time. And, like, it's a man ego thing. I get it. it. Yes. We we're more coming from the female perspective. Right. That's what I that's all my vessel my life can provide the world particular series of algorithms because i am a woman like the reason why my particular algorithm algorithm of experiences is so captivating to you guys is because like um algorithm just, experiences like, bitch what individuals who just have like big energy like as people and i'm one of those people like whether you like it or not i right now don't like it but it's just like i'm one of those people that's just what the fuck it is like you guys don't all right, so wait a minute, hold on. Before she keep going, like, she got a point on the man ego thing. Now, 
if there's a man watching this, you might get pissed at me for saying this, but this is the God honest truth. When women get cheated on, we, we're hurt, we're angry, but we kind of like either accept it and try to move on and make it work again, or we don't accept it and we let it go and we just move on and we just leave. When you men get cheated on, y'all are fucking psycho. You guys are fucking nuts in the head. Y'all are crazy when y'all get cheated on. Like, y'all cannot, y'all really cannot take y'all ego being fucked with. And y'all ego just, like, it's like when a woman cheats on a man, she's, like, basically dead to him. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just really crazy to me. Like, she's right on that man ego thing, y'all. I'm sorry. Any man can feel some type of way, but, honey, I'm just keeping that. From a woman's perspective, y'all lose y'all goddamn mind when a woman cheat on y'all. And I don't understand why, because it's like us women, we know that y'all dirty with all the women that y'all sleep with. You feel what I'm saying? Why can't y'all just accept that women are dirty? Everyone's dirty. Somebody has been with somebody. Everybody is dirty, including me. Everybody is dirty because everybody has been with somebody else. That's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and continue on because this video long as shit. I don't know me that well because I was acting in all those videos that I don't know why are still circulating on the motherfucking internet, which by the way, I looked at the one where <laughs> I was deleting his player and I looked so cute. I'm like, oh yes, so, you look so good. <laughs> now I look creepy, I know this, but I'm also very tired. Like I got whammed with a whole bunch of energy from the universe and I'm like, bitch. I would, didn't know how to. Everything you've been told about weight loss is a lie. These ads, yeah. That you can't lose weight if you don't give up the foods you love. That you have to. Ex she better be talking about that. something I, important before I cut this reaction this short. This is nothing more than the consequences of my own actions. And I'm like, did I True. really? Like, no, what you did is totally legendary. Because I was thinking, <laughs> it's legendary. Because who the fuck does that? Who the fuck says this shit? Who the fuck acts like this? This is not a good. Um, thing to be but when you live in a world that is like dominated by men i would never fit in because oh my god my dad gave me this ring i shouldn't even fucking have this because i'm a woman type shit so i don't know why he gave it to me but big dick energy like i said people just have big energy in this what wait 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 did she say big dick energy what what did she say because i was thinking <laughs> it's legendary because who the fuck does that who the fuck says this shit? Who the fuck acts like this? This is not a good um, thing to be. But when you live in a world that is like dominated by men, I would never fit in. Because, oh my God, my dad gave me this ring. I shouldn't even fucking have this because I'm a woman type shit. So I don't know why he gave it to me. But big dick energy, like I said, people just have big energy and this is what mine is. Obviously, what you create is what manifests in the world. So I what? need to focus more on spiritual... What the fuck? Y'all niggas hate Okay, alright. Um, like, yeah, we're, 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 she, she just rambling now, so. I got other reactions to get to, and we have 17 minutes. I'm definitely gonna cut this video short. But, yeah, so, she wasn't really saying much after she had admitted that she messed with DDG. I just feel like Ash just needs to move the fuck on. I understand that she felt like she had to respond. She had no choice because you had Soul Illuminati talking about her. You had DDG talking about her. So it was just like she just kind of, she was forced to like say something about this and not be quiet no more. If you keep speaking on my name, motherfucker, I got, I'm going to have something to say. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, I definitely feel her fr frustration, but... Baby girl, you you out here making us tourist women look bad, honey. I don't know what type of drugs you on or whatever. Um, I don't know if she's on drugs, but I'm only saying that because she just she looked a little high in this video because her eyes is like bloodshot red with them with them blue ass contacts. And she's her mind is just like all over the place. Like she's talking about one topic, then she goes to another topic, and it's like, bitch, I'm trying to keep up with you, but but that's crazy that she really had messed with DDG just to get back at Soul. That's crazy. I mean, and then with Soul, like, like I said with you, honey, like, I still love you. I still love your spiritual awakening and stuff like that. But if you treated Ashley like gold off camera, but you wanted to treat her like nothing on camera, you know, that's lame as hell. That part, that part of you was lame as fuck. I'm not gonna lie because you don't treat nobody like that. 
you can't get mad at her for really messing with your enemy if you was treating her like that, to be keeping real. Now, me personally, I wouldn't have took it that far of sleeping with my ex's enemy. Um, I just would have just moved the fuck on and just call it a day. But, hey, you know, some people are savage, man. Some people, they just, they get to a point of they don't give a fuck. You know, I know I've been there plenty of times. But, I mean, I've never, i never really been into the, like, out of anything I've ever done, I've never been into the whole I'll take your man, I'll fuck your man type of thing or I'll fuck your enemy or your ex type of, that's never really been my forte, my character, my mentality. I wasn't really raised like that. I never picked that up from other women. Like that just was never my thing. For me, I'm all about no drama as much as possible. I'd rather get a man that's single just like me so our single asses can mingle, period, poo. She's just had enough of it. She felt the need to respond, so. This is very interesting. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, show a bitch some love, help a bitch get to a thousand subs. Make sure to leave some suggestions down in the comment section down below. I'm out this bitch. Deuces. Put it out the coop at the lot. Told him for a 12 for a swat. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deal. We been trapping like the Nigga, so got cash out.